The Rise of Microchip Implants, a comprehensive look at technology embedded in human bodies as technological advancements rapidly progress, they are increasingly integrating into our daily lives in ways that were once unimaginable. From the smartphones we carry in our pockets to the smartwatch that adorn our wrists, technology continues to become more intimately connected with our personal routines. In Sweden, a notable development in this trend involves the use of microchip implants, with thousands of Swedes opting for these tiny devices to streamline their lives. In Sweden, a country renowned for its technological innovation and high level of digital adoption, microchip implants have gained significant traction. These implants, roughly the size of a grain of rice, are inserted beneath the skin and are designed to enhance convenience by facilitating easier access to various locations and systems. Users can swipe their hands against digital readers to unlock doors to homes, offices, and gyms. The chips also have functionalities beyond physical access, they can store emergency contact information, social media profiles, and even electronic tickets for events and public transport. The microchip trend has been driven by both the promise of increased convenience and the perception of safety. Proponents argue that the chips are secure, being less susceptible to hacking due to their physical placement under the skin. The insertion procedure, which involves using a syringe similar to those used for vaccinations, costs approximately $180. Despite the growing popularity, the main company providing these implants, Biohacks International, has struggled to meet the high demand. Founded by Jaan Osterlund, a former professional body pisser, Biohacks International has seen substantial interest in microchips since its inception five years ago. Osterlund, who has dedicated significant time to this venture over the past two years, is now working on developing training materials to enlist Swedish doctors and nurses to help manage the demand. Osterlund and other advocates argue that microchips simplify daily routines. For instance, Eric Frisk, a 30-year-old web developer from Stockholm, uses his implant to unlock his office door. Many early adopters of this technology are part of Stockholm's tech startup community. Frisk, who received his chip in 2014, describes the technology as passive and efficient, when he taps his chip against a reader, it transmits an ID to the reader without needing an external power source. Frisk's enthusiasm for the technology extends to his social circles, he even organized a chipping party when he moved into a shared house. His housemates now use their chips to access their shared building, illustrating how the technology can facilitate communal living arrangements. Another user, Sylvia Varshagi, 28, appreciates the convenience of her chip for various applications. She uses it to gain entry to her co-working space and to share her LinkedIn profile at networking events by simply tapping her chip against another person's smartphone. The chip allows the recipient to view her profile information without her having to manually input or spell out her details. This functionality has proven useful enough to lead Sweden's largest train company to begin accepting chips as an alternative to traditional tickets, and there is speculation that the chips might soon be used for payments in shops and restaurants. The widespread adoption of microchips in Sweden can be attributed to a combination of factors. Historically, Sweden has been an early adopter of new technologies. For example, the government promoted fast internet access in the 1990s and incentivized companies to provide employees with home computers. Sweden is also transitioning towards a cashless society, with a significant drop in cash transactions over the past decade. The country's tech-savvy population is accustomed to sharing personal information online and generally exhibits high trust in local companies and institutions. Osterlund suggests that the trend's success in Sweden is partly due to the country's progressive stance on technology and data privacy. While Swedes are generally more accepting of data sharing and technology, the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, introduced across the European Union has reinforced data protection. This regulation, which became effective earlier this year, provides stringent safeguards for personal information. Osterlund believes that such regulations could facilitate the spread of microchip technology within Europe, though he acknowledges that global adoption might lag due to varying data privacy standards. Despite the enthusiasm surrounding microchips, there are voices of caution. Ben Liberton, a British scientist based in Sweden, has expressed concerns about the potential privacy issues associated with the chips. Liberton, who specializes in science communication, worries about the implications of storing and sharing health-related data through microchips. 
He emphasizes the need for careful consideration of privacy and security as these technologies evolve and become more integrated into daily life. In recent months, interest in microchip implants has continued to grow, with more than 50,000 individuals worldwide opting for these devices. In Germany, for instance, over 2,000 people have received microchips, with uses ranging from unlocking doors to storing personal documents. As the technology advances, there are expectations that it could accommodate even more functions, such as linking to extensive databases or personal records. The evolving landscape of microchip implants reflects broader trends in technology and privacy. As innovations continue to merge with personal identity and daily routines, it remains crucial to address the associated risks and benefits. While the convenience of microchips is undeniable, ongoing scrutiny and regulation are essential to ensure that the technology develops in a manner that respects privacy and security concerns. In conclusion, the adoption of microchip implants represents a significant step forward in integrating technology with human life. Sweden's experience with microchips illustrates both the potential benefits and challenges of this emerging trend. As the technology evolves and spreads to other regions, it will be important to balance innovation with careful consideration of privacy and data protection. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.